Well, it's been a surreal 48 hours for the family of Ramona Okamura as she now rests and recuperates in Egypt after a three-week ordeal. Yeah, weeks ago, we were the first to tell you about her ordeal and how she was trapped in Gaza. Her family did everything from reaching out to our Hawaii delegation in D.C. to holding a public campaign to have Auntie Ramona come home, a wish that was finally granted. Dramatic video shows Ramona Okamura cross the border in Rafah, leaving Gaza, entering Egypt. Family members relieve she is on Egyptian soil, but still keeping up their guard. Oh my gosh, yes. But at the same time, until she's really home, who can say, you know? And from there, she'll have passage back home, and that is our hope. We don't know the exact itinerary, um, but I, I do feel a huge sense of relief. But I think, as Erica also said, um, really until we see her coming back and we can see her in person. But still a sense of relief that after weeks trapped inside a war zone, finally out of harm's way. The emotions that I have, so, so many feelings all at once. It's really overwhelming, but most of all, a um, sense of kind of release and a sense of happiness for her. Ramona's family spent weeks on alert, waiting to see if their auntie could gain access into Egypt. We had always been told by the State Department that she should remain close by. We were really not given much of an update other than that for the last three weeks, um, other than that they were tracking and monitoring the situation um, until last night around 6 p.m. when they told us that there would be a list of people who might be able to cross, and she was on the move a few hours later. And now Akemi and her cousin can't wait for Ramona to arrive back on U.S. soil so they can give their Auntie Ramona a welcome home hug. And coming up in just a bit, more from U.S. officials as they raise the pressure on Israel to ease its siege on Gaza and how much money the U.S. House wants to give Israel in aid. 